this is my last video of today other than vlogging and I am so excited because I am so tired of talking and filming and being dressed and wearing pants I just want to enjoy the rest of my day off in peace not on camera it's fine all right so hello welcome or welcome back to my channel my name's Lauren I am a former librarian and now I just talk about books on the internet because why not and sometimes I drink too much drink and hold on all right so for today's video we are going to be talking about poetry because April is poetry month and so this is going to be like a two-part video we have the poetry this is my whole poetry collection it's so big I know so we're going to be talking about first the books that I have read and then we're going to talk about the new poetry that I picked up over the weekend so let me flip that camera down so I stop looking at it so for the books that I have I have read other poetry collections but much like my regular fiction books if I don't love it it moves on so my first I basically have two authors and then two random things so my all-time favorite poetry collection writer person is Courtney Peppernell she is a pretty mainstream um, poet but that doesn't make what she writes any less important or interesting um, I think she writes really cute really thoughtful really um, relatable poems so the first collection that I have by her is pillow thoughts I want to say that there are five four or five volumes of pillow thoughts out by now um, I only own this first one but I would like to collect the rest and this one I love because the cover is so pretty this is one of her latest but not the latest it's called watering the soul look at these little guys so cute so cute um and I think there are some other pictures yes so cute I just I look at the pictures and I'm like I am so happy these little guys these little sprouts make me so happy and I think her newer collection is gonna have more of these sprouts so I'm excited for that um next I have oh one is signed um the poetry collection poetry books by Katie Wismer she is an author tuber um that I found during the pandemic because we were all grasping for people to connect with so I have her first poetry collection is the sweetest kind of poison her second is poems for the end of the world and her third poetry collection is coming out in April I want to say it's the first Tuesday in April I could be wrong I'm not really sure um, I like her poetry collections because we're like sort of the same age around in the same vicinity of the same age so when she writes about stuff it's stuff that like I have went through as well um, it's feelings that I've had as well and I just I don't know I like her poems a lot some of them are micro poems um, I think it's a good mix her collections are a good mix of micro poems and longer poems um, I like that her poems are um, are divided up into different sections so love that next I have please don't go before I get better by Madison Kuhn this is the back says you make so much sense amidst the tangled vines of learning and unlearning please don't go before I get better um, it's been a while since I read this collection there's one that I was like ooh. Oh, here's one that I really liked better times there's a line that says maybe it's time to stop letting our minds wander to places that are gone or haven't arrived yet 
Maybe it's time to open the curtains and feel the sun on our skin and realize that existence is a series of nows. So that's a fun collection. And then I also have, I haven't read this in so long, but I won this on from some kind of giveaway. This was published in, wait. This was published in 2007, so I was 17 years old, and I won this from a poetry collection. It's called Undercover by Beth Kephart. Um, I don't even know if I ever read the whole thing. I'm not sure. Oh, maybe it's not a poetry collection. I think it is, though. I think it's about a girl who writes poetry. Okay, I definitely thought this was a poetry collection, so we're just gonna... This sounds really cute, though. Like a modern-day Cyrano de Bergerac, Elise ghostwrites love notes for the boys in her school, but when Elisa falls for Theo, things change fast. Theo asks for verses to court the lovely Lila, a girl known for her beauty, popularity, and a cutting ability to remind Elisa that she has neither... Um, at home, Elisa's father, the one person she feels understands her, has left on an extended business trip. As the days grow shorter, Elise worries that the increasingly urgent letter she sends her father won't bring him home. Like the undercover agent she feels she has become, Elisa retreats to the pond in the woods where her talent for ice skating gives her the confidence to come out from under the cover and take center stage. But when Lila becomes jealous of Theo's friendship, with Elisa, her revenge nearly destroys Elisa's ice skating dreams and her plans to reunite her family. So this is not a poetry collection. What was I thinking? But there's poems in the back. So I think the character writes poems. We're, yep. We might cut that out. We'll see. Alright, and then my new poetry collections that I don't know much about. I have The Dark Between Stars by Atticus. I have Dandelion, written and illustrated by Gabby Hanna. And, oh, this is cute. Ah! There's a Santa. I think this will be, oh, an elephant. I think this will be a fun one. I have this one I'm really excited about. What Kind of Woman by Kate Bearer. Bayer. Um, I love the cover of this one. This is so, like, spring. I like it. And then I have, this was an impulse purchase because it was a dollar. This is Love Poems. And this is a collection, obviously, of poems about love. And I think they're all, like classic poems. There's some Walt Whitman, some Emily Dickinson, Robert Burns, um, Oscar Wilde. So we're gonna deep dive into some classic poetry there. The cover is not that pretty and it's not like the nicest book ever but it's a lot of poems to get through. And finally I have Shame is an Ocean I Can Swim Across by Mary Lambert. I have started this one. So far it's alright. It's not my favorite. And I also didn't realize that Mary Lambert is the artist who sings with Macklemore and Ryan Lewis on Same Love. Who knew? So I do like the color though. This purple is fun. And I can't figure out what these little things are on the cover. But anyway, those are my poetry books and a random book that is not a poetry book. Who knew? <laughs> Who knew? All right, so if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. If you also like reading poetry, let me know down in the comments what are some of your favorite. Um, 
what are some of your favorite poetry collections or if you have favorite like Instagram poets or anything share that down below um, if you want to let me know you were here without leaving like a big long comment feel free to leave an emoji about that's a star down below because I am excited to read this collection oh it has photos that's really pretty I'm excited to pick up this collection I'm trying to save some of these new ones for April so I can celebrate the poetry month but we'll see what happens and I am done filming for today so thank you so much for watching thank you for your support and I will just see you in another video very soon but not today bye